of Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and 17 reads, For I am not ashamed of the gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. That's all, that's all right. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, mm -hmm. to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Yes. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Mm -hmm. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. faith. We're going to preach a series for the next couple of weeks called mm -hmm. Crazy Faith. Crazy Faith. Mm -hmm. All right. It's coming off the B portion of that passage. The just shall live by faith. faith. If we're going to go in and possess what God has for us, we got to have crazy faith. Crazy, crazy, crazy faith. Like the giant is big. Uh -huh. His spear is big. Uh -huh. <laughs> and his sword is big. Uh -huh. And he can fight. Yes. And he's mean. Come on. And he's roaring and growling at you. Come on, Pastor. And so if you're going to really run up at him and not be timid and not be afraid yes. and really believe that you're going to defeat him, you have to have crazy, right. crazy Woo. faith. Come on, Pastor. Come on. That's good. Anything that you're going to obtain, you're going to have to have crazy faith to get it. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we glorify you. Ah, Master, I pray that this be a moment Thank you, Jesus. that you strengthen our faith. Thank you. Please, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. We believe that's why we're here. Yes. yes. But I pray, Lord, that you strengthen our unbelief. Yes, Lord. Thank you, you know God. those areas where we yes, still God. got a little, yes, little bit. Are you really going to work it out? Please. Hallelujah. Am I really going to come out of this? I pray that in those areas, Lord, that you will let us believe. Yes. Father God, do the things in our midst that we can't explain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for supernaturalness to happen. Thank you, Lord. In our faith. Mm -hmm. We'll give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise oh, yes. in Jesus' name. Bless you, God. Amen. 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 You may be seated, my brothers and sisters. Amen. If I was to sum up... Mm -hmm. What is this walk all about with God? What is this journey all about that we live in that we're on? Journeying from earth into glory. I would give you a word with five letters. Faith. Faith. Life is all about faith. I'm going to say that again. Life is all about faith. From the person you will become, to the task you will complete, to the blessing that you will receive, will only happen according to your faith. By faith. You often heard Jesus say to a person that drew power out of him and that received a miracle, you often hear him say, your faith has made you whole. In order to get a miracle from God, you need two ingredients. One, you need his power, his virtue, his glory. And two, you need your faith. Mm -hmm. all right, all right. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. You cannot draw power That's out of good. God with no faith. That's good. If you really want a miracle in your life, you're going to have to believe yourself into that miracle. Yeah. If you really want God to use you mightily, you're going to have to really believe that he will. I know. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, faith, amen, the Bible even says, the word not mixed with faith will profit you nothing. In other words, there is no reason to hear me preach. There is no reason to read the Bible if you're not going to mix your faith. There's a passage in the book of Hebrews that told us 
that the people that did not enter into the promised land, it said even though they had the word, even though they had a leader by the mighty man of Moses, it said it profited them nothing. Why? Because they didn't put their faith in. So even though God was saying, I'm going to bless you, even though God was saying, I got a place that I prepared for you, even though God was saying, I built you to conquer every giant, to triumph over every situation, they didn't believe. And then because they didn't believe, they didn't receive. So I want to ask you a question. No matter what you're going through, do you believe? Yeah. All right. That's good. Yeah. Who, who wants God to do something? Who needs a miracle? Who needs a blessing? I would, well, do you believe? Do you believe that God can do it? Do you believe that God can make a way? Do you believe that God can heal your body? Do you believe that God can save your child? Do you believe that God can use you from your background, from the things you came up in? Do you really believe? If you believe, you already got it. That's good. That's good. That's what the Bible says. But before you receive, you already have to believe that you have it. Some of us, we're, we're believing that we're going to get it, and that's why we're not getting it. Because the Bible says, no, don't believe that you're going to get it, that I'm going to do it. I want you to believe that I already did it. Amen. And if you can believe I already did it, before you actually see it, you're going to see it. That's good, that's so good. first you got to believe that you're already blessed. Yes. And if you believe that you're already blessed, you're going to be blessed. You got to believe that you're already healed. If you believe I'm already healed, despite the pain, despite the pain, despite what the doctor said, I'm already healed. Then you're walking in healing. That's it. That's it. That's it. Faith is. I believe yeah. I already got it already. Yeah, yeah. before I actually obtain it. Mm -hmm. right. Because I'm not looking with these eyes. Oh, oh, Lord. I'm looking with the eye inside. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus would often say, he who has eyes, let them see. Well, yeah, everybody got eyes, Jesus. Yeah. Even though some have been born uh, uh, blind. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but you made everybody with two eyes. Amen. Amen. So he's not talking about these eyes. He's talking about if you only go by the eyes you can see, you're blind. Mm. That's good. Even with 2020 vision, if you only live by those two eyes, you lost. You have to live by the eye. Come on. Uh, you win. I always had you this way. Come on. By faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By faith. Tell somebody by faith. By faith. By faith. That's how you're going to get it. By faith. In this text, I'm, can I teach this a little bit? Faith. Faith. In this text, Paul is teaching about salvation. Mm -hmm. okay. He's teaching about how one becomes saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Saved. Saved from what? The penalty of sin? Which is death, which is hell, amen, which is eternal separation from God. He's, mm -hmm. he's telling you that, that, that I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel, the good news, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm not ashamed of that because that is the power of God that worked unto salvation to those that believe. Mm -hmm. Right? He says, to those that believe. And understand that our salvation comes by faith. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. He goes on to say, amen. amen, to the Jew first and then to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed mm -hmm. from faith to faith, as it is written, yeah. the just shall live by faith. faith. When he says just, brothers and sisters, he's talking about justified. Mm -hmm. right. Those that have been declared not guilty. Mm -hmm. Right? Those that are righteous. Those that are in a right standing with God. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Those that God does not look at as an enemy, mm -hmm. but God looks at as a friend. Mm -hmm. God sees humanity through two lenses. Either you are his friend mm -hmm. or you are his enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Either you're with me or you're against me. And for those that, that are his enemy, the reason they are his enemy is 
because they still remain in their sinful nature. Mm -hmm. Not that they just remain in the acts of sin, okay. but their actual nature is sinful. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening yeah. to me, brothers and sisters? Yes, that's why the Bible says, for those that are saved, amen, behold, all things have passed away. Behold, all things become new, that we are a new creature in Christ, meaning we have a different nature. Amen. Am I making sense? So, so, so God is saying, for those that are my enemy, they are my enemy because their nature has not been changed. All right. Mm -hmm. They wake up thinking about how they can do wrong. They go to bed mm -hmm. thinking about My how God. they can do wrong. Mm -hmm. we, we, we used to be like that. Amen. Eh? Yes, we did. Like that. Amen. Eh, I keep it real sometimes. Like I hear them say, the more wrong I did, it seemed like the fun of the day got. Amen. Eh, <laughs> because that was my nature. Come on. I was we had a sinful nature. But now that I am saved, amen. I no longer have a sinful nature, but I have a nature that wants to please God. Yeah, that's good. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? So often I have a war going on between me from my old man nature to my new nature fighting. Amen. Amen. To who's going to take control of my life. You have the same thing, brothers and sisters. Now, for those that are friends of God, we are friends of God because we have confessed with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believed in our heart that God has raised Christ from the dead. That makes us come into salvation. Once again, that means if we're saved, we're saved by faith. You've never seen Jesus. Some of us in here have never been to Jerusalem. Are y'all listening to me? You've never seen Christ shed his blood? Amen. You didn't see when they led him up Calvary? Are y'all listening to me? All this you are hearing, amen, you are reading, and you're putting your faith into it, amen, that it is actual, that it is real, that it is legitimate, and because of that, you start to walk in salvation. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? And so the ones that are enemies with God, the only reason they're enemy with God is because they don't believe. Because even though we're in the right standing, even though we have been justified, that does not mean we're right. We've been made the righteousness of God based off what our Lord has done, based off what our Savior has done. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. Are y'all listen? Past, present. And future. I believe because of the good, the, the, the gospel of Jesus dying on my behalf, amen, that it has brought me, amen, that I have been adopted, amen, into the royal diadem, the royal family. Are yes, 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 good yes. God. I believe, amen, that why I am journeying on this on this walk, God is transforming me to be coming into the image of God. All that is by faith. Good God Almighty. So he's letting us know mm -hmm. if you're really going to experience salvation, yes. you don't experience it by coming to church. Yes. Come on, come on. You don't experience it by your works. Amen. Mm -hmm. Salvation. No man is saved by their own work, at least they would boast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you believe by faith. faith. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. That means the more stronger my faith becomes, mm -hmm. The more I start to walk into this glorious life. The more this life starts to unfold before me. Yeah. The more I start to walk in the glory of God. You walk in the glory of God by faith. Yeah. If you lay hands on them and say in the name of Jesus and believe that they can be healed, guess what? Hey, hallelujah. If you tell that mountain, amen, be removed and cast yourself into the sea, that mountain will jump into the sea. All that happens by faith. faith. All right, all right. Not by your intelligence, not by your works, not by your own power. None of that happens by you. That all happens by what you believe. Good God Almighty. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got to believe. That's what God's wanting to tell you. And the more you believe, the more you walk in it. What is faith? Go with me to the book of Hebrews. That's good. Look with me in the book of Hebrews, 